Hey guys, Chuck Brown 9000 here, and today I'm going to give you a little something different. I believe this could be an easier way to give you guys my Ultraman Z reviews. Uh, they're going to be somewhat reaction style, mostly still review, but instead of me writing down notes and stuff, just so I can tell you guys and put footage, now I'm going to show you guys the footage, and uh, yeah, I'm going to do this for episode 5 and episode 6, I've never been able to watch because I was gone for a week camping with my family. So, this will be a reaction for me, and we'll get to see uh, how it all goes. Alright, let's get do, let's do this. Guys, don't worry, Wyndham can work. This monster... Somewhat like a bird, Wyndham looks exactly like a bird. Look at his face, that is a beak. I believe this bird can be a flying walrus easily. Ooh, things are getting intense. We're watching him launch. Look at that, that's signs of the future. Wow, look at that. He's just like a bird. My god, he's blowing ice. Man, that man's car's pretty dirty. Look at that! That looked like it was painful to the suit actor. <laughs> My god. Look at this fight. Ooh! Oh, you hear that? Oh, that sounded painful. We'll get warmer! No, climate change didn't wake it up. Alaska's still pretty cold. Because, as you know, many scientists are pretty fluent in indigenous people. No! A monster gaining knowledge to know to stop it? Impossible! Yes, we must shoot the monster. Why didn't you think of that first? That's heavy artillery, you know. It must cost a lot of money for damage. Cause stuff like that will happen. And you get a direct hit! Who's talking? Oh, her. I mean, she can't take it anymore. You brought a robot into a monster that breathes ice. I think the people are fine. I think you'd rather be safe. Jugulus, juggler. How was he back? That looked painful. And he's gone. Look at that stock sound effect. I could hear Megalon. The Godzilla one. Why didn't they think about this? The, they saw the monster. No, hold on. They saw the monster breathe ice? 
Why couldn't they at least think? Maybe he could do that. That's a plain robot with normal metal. There's nothing special to it. And you think you would be safe. Why not do a full-on assault on foot? I'm pretty sure they have planes and helicopters. I'm pretty sure they have all this stuff. I'm pretty sure they have tanks. I know they have guns. They were showed pretty effective. Why not use them? And you have just prevented all of this. And I know they're not going to actually talk about this, but think about real life sense. That robot's rusted now. Rusted all belief. It's ice. If it thaws, all of its circuits would go gone haywire. And that would make Wyndham nothing. He would not work anymore. They're not too smart. Why are you still looking for it? Why aren't you shooting Pegulus? Now, how are you supposed to know what the pilot temperature is? Leave a comment down below. Like, if a vehicle is overheating, do they also track the pilot? Uh, internal temperature. No, everyone's already evacuated. I think you're fine. Why do they keep saying Yoko? I'm sorry, earlier I said, uh, Yoko, that wasn't Yoko, that was another girl, I think that was Yuri. But, she says, he says Senpai. I'm pretty sure that's Master in Japanese. That's an easy translation. It's been a while since I watched Ultimate Or, but I don't think... Jugglish Juggler... I don't think he's evil anymore, I think he's just like Ultraman Orb. Wait, well, he's not, but he's a good guy. <laughs> My god, now more kids can play. Whoa. This is one of my biggest problems with the episode, and I'll go to it when it comes. No! Haruki, listen to him! Sevenger looks even worse! Well, actually, no. Summoner looks like he can protect more. One man looks more like... One man looks like something that would get internal and it will destroy easily. Sevenger looks like he has, actually has protection on the outside. Ooh, we're getting angry. Didn't, didn't they just say Pegulus was a mammal? He doesn't look like a bird. And he's definitely no penguin. <laughs> you know, I've heard in America we basically have like all seasons, like everywhere in the world you can basically see in America we get tropical, we get forests, we get deserts and stuff. That doesn't mean we have every animal. There's no penguins in Alaska. Did he feel pain for the robot? Well, actually, no. She is freezing to death. That's not a sacrifice. You are just letting her freeze until her body passes out, and then she dies. There we go. You avoid it. Finally, someone has smarts. So, heat melts ice? My god, I never knew that! This is genius! We must tell the whole world! What are you talking about? Nothing said anything. And we have jetpacks! Don't you got like a co-pilot? Well, he melted it! Why is there still snow in there? 
can't they just say master? Look at that, you can just tell that was from an earlier Ultra series. Because they had to recreate the suit, but in doing so, you can clearly see the cheap parts with it. You know, those jet those jetpacks could come handy. I have a strong feeling you'll never appear in another episode again. Huh! Hits the penguin! Douglas. Hey, Haruki, don't you know? You need to act calm in these situations, then they'll give it back. Yeah! Don't you know, Haruki? You don't ask questions. Of course, it was stolen. And remember, since it was stolen, I couldn't talk to you. Leaving you to offend for yourself until you learned a lesson. That's right, we now have Ultraman in the scene! Look at that. Exactly, why don't birds look like this? If this penguin can do it, why can't all penguins? We just, it's all their feathers on. We need to shave off their feathers, then they can start flying. And give them walrus teeth. That will help him a lot. I'm so surprised you call him a penguin. I don't think he's a penguin. I think he's more of a mammal. Look at that, he froze my camera. No, I say that's it. He got frozen. Ultraman can freeze. I I'd say that that's an instant done. You're frozen. Especially hitting your color timer. That's a lot of Ultraman fail because their color timer just gets damaged. Done. Look at that. That primitive tool. Look at what the cavemen have invented. They knew witchcraft before us. Now we can just find out their secrets. They knew magic all along. Don't you know? That's an ultra weapon. The weapon no Ultraman ever uses. Of course I comprehend it. See the yellow thing? I spin it. And then that does everything. Look at that, he has fear. That's right, it was made just for Ultraman Z, an Ultraman that wasn't even born yet. Douglas, please, show me. And here is a big problem I have. You can just let him put it in, it's okay. Look at these monster medals. Ooh, look at that. Oh, yes. That's the good stuff. Zeton, Pandan, and Mega Orochi. That's, that's the first problem. In Ultraman Orb, back then, during the early stages of the fusion stuff, there was, it was only two-way fusions. So, fusing with Mega Orochi does not work, in my opinion. It should not make this... Because Mega Orochi was basically like some big monster. He was a big deal. Not not something not some just fused with mere Zeton and Pandan. The final bosses of Ultraman Ultra 7. Of course, don't ask Ultraman Zet. Oh crap, I was unfocused. I didn't read his description. Let's use it more. Of course, this clear hunk of plastic surely was an invention made by Ultraman. Look at that, the back's not even painted. Clearly useful more of a weapon instead of a toy. 
you know, they could have just jabbed it in the ground. And so we had to see it slightly turn a bit. Oh, of course, his technique. This technique of standing still and believing he's sensing it. Even though I saw it reappear. Which means that that's a lot of damage. Those bikes. Don't you know how much bikes cost? Probably not that much. But that's not that much money that they'll have to pay again. That's right, it is so powerful. It was able to block your attacks. Maybe going to the front is not a good idea. Not exactly. You gotta think about Ultimate Cosmo. Ultimate Cosmos did not want to kill monsters. He wanted to be peaceful to monsters. whole point of that series was someday they would make a land sent for monsters so they could live in peace. They're not monster killers. Eh, Cosmo's not from M78, so I don't know. Of course, the weapon! I haven't had it for a good couple of seconds. That was my problem the whole time. Whoa, that was two charges. Of course. They had bow and arrows back in Ultraman days. This shows Ultraman have been on this version of Earth. And look at that pose. Ooh, that's beautiful. This shows Ultraman have been on this Earth, and they supposedly created stuff just for particular monsters, instead of just calling you for backup. You know, that just makes me wonder, where's the device the Ultraman have made to help stop a monster from breathing fire out of its back? You know, where is that? It must be a shield. Or where's the umbrella that an Ultraman made that was meant to stop a monster from uh, eating Laffy Taffy? They're making it up, so can I. Of course. An act of dignity. An act of dignity. You need to be punished. Ooh. Of course. It's horror. Alright. Episode thoughts and opinions. Pros. Pro, I like that they're bringing back old monsters. And I gotta bring back old monsters. Pegulus is not an ideal monster I believe to bring back. And I think it's nice that they are bringing him back. It's nice to see some recognition for Ultra Q. Uh, downfall is... Uh... I say basic intelligence for if they didn't show the monster breathe ice on anything, then it, it would have worked. If they brought the monster, then they froze it over. Uh, and uh, that's it. So uh, after this, I'm going to go watch. Well, we're going to go react to Ultimate Z Episode 6. Oh, is there any of this audio? I suddenly realized how you could clearly hear my breath, so I'm gonna raise up the volume a little bit. Alright. Let us watch together Ultraman Z Episode 6. Will I edit out parts that are boring just me watching? Probably. But that doesn't mean I'm not gonna enjoy it. You guys should watch. I'll put links to the videos in the description down below. I want you guys to enjoy the series like me. Well, we're on a full pursuit. Yes, we will get money uh, for having giant robots fight. That's all they do. Uh, why are you practicing this now? They've been doing this for so long, before the Ultraman even came. I'm gonna turn down a bit. 
they've been doing this for so long before the Ultraman even came in, that I don't see why now they actually need to be training for fighting monsters. Oh, what is this? Could this be part of the monster training? They're still fighting. This is how we get our money. Don't you know? We have robots fight each other. Why can they feel pain in the robot? Ooh. Okay, that is explanatory. You just gotta force yourself in. It's just another two day. Wait a minute, I know this! From the Ultraman Jid movie! How is he back? That is a good question. He's like, Metacore. He can't return once you already destroyed the base. I swear I didn't see the big red flying object come down. The last judgmenter. Wow. And he's killed very less Ultramen than people like Alien Emperor or Ultraman Belial. Whoa. This stuff is getting intense. Wait a minute. What the? Oh, hold up for a second. Hold on. It. I remember when I watched the Ultraman Jeed movie. I'm pretty sure he appeared in Orb, but with Jeed from Florida, it's probably Jeed. I remember when I watched Ultraman Jeed the movie. Um. He didn't do that. He didn't control robots. Then again, there were no robots in G from the control, but why is it now he can do this? You know, if they're going to give him new powers, they should make him look a little bit different, so I can call him a different incarnation. I don't see why now he can control robots, when he is one person that's meant to destroy robots. So he wouldn't really control Sevenger, he'd want to kill Sevenger. Because he could call that intelligent life form, as shown a little bit ago. So this is starting to get confusing, but then again, this fight is pretty freaking awesome. Of course, our storage. I've been on this planet long enough to even become a commander. I think that's the first problem. Does a bunch of... Uh, He's a robot. There's no nuclear waste. Whoa! Oh no, don't touch that! I watched the first- Oh no, that's the guy who wants it. Never mind that. Yeah, please. Hold it, grasp it, eat it. Do what you want with it. Just remember, people are watching. Of course, the thing. He was absorbing intelligent life. The stuff that's not moving. I know what it needs. It needs two Super Saiyans to charge it up. We need to find Goku and Vegeta. Once it can charge it up, then we can be back in business. Wait a minute. What? I gotta turn that- I gotta- I gotta turn that down. Why are they playing Ultimate Jack's theme? Guys, quickly, we need to spread- we need to spread fake news. I am intelligent, don't you know? I have a dual keyboard. It's split in half, so I can spread out my arms while I type. It does nothing for me in the long run, but it just tells people I'm smart. Uh, 
Well, that's not looking like fake information. It looks like you're going to shoot it. It's coming. Now when's that time we're going to make those uh, websites with fake information? It tried to trick you! It could do it! You can go back into Genagar go along. Or whatever his name is. You know, he is looking pretty big and scary, so I wouldn't, t I wouldn't go near it. Because you might not know, is he has guns on his knuckles. So, uh, I wouldn't mess with him. Would you mess with a guy that had a gun for fingers? That, like, for every finger he has was a gun. That would be pretty scary. Oh, I didn't know you were an Ultraman. I must respect you now. You anywhere, of course. For Ultraman Jeed was usually the egotistical type. Why did he need a Z Riser? That is a good question. My, he doesn't need it. There's no use for him. Ultraman Z needed it because that's how he could transform to a better Ultra. Jeed already has these powers. They're not gone. Uh, his form shouldn't work. And, all in all, I believe this is a cash grab, and I do not appreciate it. You know, with the name Ultraman Z, I believe there would be more Ultramen, because Ultraman's a title except for the first Ultraman, his name is Ultraman. Oh, what is this guy creating? Oh. Pega. Pega. Don't you know? You're in another dimension. You're in another universe. Didn't mean to mention. Bad touch. Stranger danger. Oh, I all this out. I'm getting a pretty strong vibe of Metal Cooler, the Dragon Ball Z villain. They do not die unless you destroy the Metal Cooler core. Now we're in business! Two Ultramen fighting alongside each other. Oh, these are the Ultramen talking, okay. What is he talking about? No, what? what? Ultraman Z, you're not just saying nonsense. I watched Mega Monster Battle Ultra Galaxy Legends the movie. I have knowledge on my Ultraman. Ultraman Zero beat Boile. Ultraman G did defeat a form of Boile, but who did it more? Ultraman Zero beat Boile a lot. There are two movies dedicated to Ultraman Zero fighting Boile. A uh, mini internet series with two seasons dedicated to Ultraman Zero fighting Belial. Ultraman G has one single series over Ultraman Belial fighting. And Ultraman Belial taking a bunch of forms as monsters, not near close as Belial. And uh, so I believe, Ultraman, that you should shut up and uh, learn more of your Ultraman facts. Look at that beta, he's gonna smash. Ooh, that beta smashed! Ooh, uh, that's a lot of collateral damage. Look at that virus spreading. He looks angrier than before. I think he wants to kill us now. He wanted to kill us before because we were at, we were intelligent life form. Now he wants to kill us because kill. Because killing fun. You 
I believe, ruined us. I think if you just had an opening, just bring it out and you'll be done. I don't think the virus was needed. We'll come back sometime later. It's marketing. They can't destroy this guy all the way. I think this was so- and the weapons are gone. I think this was somewhat a waste of time. Cause that virus wasn't needed, it just looked like if you needed an opening, it would have gotten to it easier. Think if it was just defense purposes, have someone in the back take the damage, but do like a full Nelson ordeal, just hold it back, and then done. Done, have someone with the bigger attack destroy it. You're good. So, we need Dark Lugiel. Oh, wow, that was amazing. Why are they back? Those robots are destroyed. Oh, which means Ginga S a long time ago. That means we could bring back Dark Lugiel. He's the main bad guy, Ginga. All right, episode pros and cons. I like the fact G had returned. This was a nice change of pace that G's returning, and now we're getting a sense of there's... Now we're having the people believe there's more than one Ultraman. Con, I'm sensing, uh... I do not understand the reason why G needed a Z riser, for G already had a strong enough form to even be Genegar, because that's what he did. So I believe it was worthless, because he still has his morpher. I believe it was worthless for G to even have the Z riser, especially since the title is Z riser and Z doesn't go with G. But, then again, he starts with that. But, all in all, I say this was a action pack episode. And I really recommend you guys watching it so you don't need to keep hearing me banter. If you liked the video, go like it. Comment down below what was your favorite part about Ultra. What was your favorite part about these episodes or anything really in general. Have some questions about my channel? I'll answer them. Remember, I read your comments. Uh, if you want to be notified by my channel, subscribe. If you want to actually be notified, you should uh, hit the bell icon so you get notification on all my channel. Uh, leave comments down below for things you want to see. So uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Tucker Point 9000 out. Tucker Point 9000.